did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of no effect. Again, this is Paul speaking. And I say, my comba Christ wa kuntuma batize atakama li batiza. Akasema kwamba but alinituma ni hubiri msalaba wake. Siyo na wema wa maneno. Not with the eloquence of wisdom. Not with the wisdom of men. And I say, my comba alinituma ni demonstrate the power of the gospel and the power behind the cross of Jesus. Amen. And as I speak this to you, my brothers and my sisters. I want to talk about our first call as believers. Mwito wetu wa kwanza ni gani? What is our first call? This is what Paul is trying to demonstrate. Mwito wetu wa kwanza is our intimacy with God. Hallelujah. Mwito wako wa kwanza, Yesu hakuja kuokoa these buildings we see. Yesu hakuja kuokoa gari. The Bible says he came to save man that which was lost. Yesu alikuja aokoe nafsi za binadamu. Mungu ana haja na maisha yako wewe. God is more concerned about your soul, who you are. That is God's first priority. The Bible says he loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son. Alipenda dunia kamtuma mwana wake wa pekee. So God's first priority is you. He was saving you to have you. Alikuwa na kuokoa akupate wewe. Bwana Yesu abe sifa. Niposa kiongelesha kanisa ya Ledosia. Anaambia kwamba I'm calling you to your first love. Na kuita kwa upendo wako wa kwanza. Who is your first love? Jesus is your first love. Yesu ndiye mpendo wako wa kwanza. Yeye ndiye anakuahidi in the book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5. Anasema ya kwamba I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I like the song Cast your burdens unto Jesus For he cares for you That is a real word God cares about you Our first call As believers Our first call Is to intimacy with God Mwito wetu wa kwanza Sisi ambao ni waumini Ni Yesu ni upendo wake na niposa mtume paolo nasema ya kwamba I resolve to know nothing else because life can crowd you mbona yesu apesifa hii maisha tunaishi inaweza ikakujaza mizigo haleluya inaweza ikakujaza mizigo mizigo mingi mizigo ya ndoa mizigo ya watoto na hiyo iko hautaepuka by the way the bible says ukiwa duniani utapitia changamoto ziko but that's not the first call because they come to distract us to pull us from our very call hallelujah utapitia changamoto ni ukweli hiyo hiko utapata mitu ambazo sinakuondoa utapata ka promotion pole kwa job pesa sinaingi umebaigari mpia unasiki umefika but that's not your first call hallelujah yesu alikuwa naambia kanisa aja aliwambia kwa makuja ni kuonyeshe thahabu yo kweli unafikini kwa na thahabu my God, and I'll be come. I will show you the real gold. But our first call is to intimacy with God. Is intimacy. My God, sometimes we forget. Sometimes I can forget. He didn't he didn't call me to the souls. He called me first. Aliokoa nafsi yangu kwanza Haku niokoa tu ili nienda niokoe wengine Aliokoa He loved me first He loved me It is me he wanted Nano la mungu nasema ya kwamba Ataacha kondo tisini na tisa Aende moja tu na niwewe The call is yours It is to you God is concerned about you Let me tell you something If you are serious with your intimacy with God Your impact in this world will be greater it is true the more serious you are with God the more impactful you are going to become bwana yesu apesifa kuna mama ambaye alikuwa na ananifundisha mentorship she is a woman leader she is one of my mentors na akaniambia kitu kimoja akaniambia kama wanawake tumezoea kuandika list eh ukiamka maybe unamkanga 5 5 to 6 unatafuta mungu kuomba hiyo ni poa 6 to 7 
tayarisha watoto waende shule 7 to 8 tayarisha mzee eh, unajua uko na list unajaribu kufuatanisha na kutimiza yote lakini kuna wakati na mkanga hata nine unashangaa uwi gwabere dia where am i going to start bwana yesu apee sifa ni ukweli si ndio wakati mwingine unafanya hiyo madhafu so much akanipatia formula akaniambia the kingdom of god and his righteousness and everything else shall be added unto you akaniambia ile formula na kupatia sio akaniambia hivi unapoingia kwa presence ya god he will begin to sort you out atakwambia angalia mtoto wako hapa angalia bwana yako hapa Bwana Yesu apee sifa. That's how we go about in life. Praise the name of Jesus. When you are intimate with God, he will begin to show you things that you need to address that you didn't even know. Bwana Yesu apee sifa. Ndio, ukiwa pale tu, yani unakuwa na uhusiano na Mungu, you're having your time with the Lord. Na anakuambia, "Hey, angalia mtoto wako hapa. He begins to sort you out in many ways that you didn't even know possible." Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Seek first the kingdom of God. Now, ninaongea haya mambo yote. Ninaongea juu ya intimacy with God. But there is something in particular I want to touch on. Because Paulo anasema ya kwamba ninapomalizia because I don't I know I think I only have nine more minutes. Anasema ya kwamba I was determined not to know. Underline that word. No. No. I was determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified when we are talking about intimacy with god there is an aspect we always forget the knowing that knowing part is very important we know we know god through knowledge tunakuja kumjua mungu kutokana na maarifa ya neno lake That is why coming here on at lunch uh, during lunch hours is very important. You grow in the knowledge of the word of God. Unapoenda Sunday kanisani unasikia neno la Mungu. You know God through his word. Bwana Yesu apee sifa. Unamjua kutokana na neno lake. It's not a guessing game. Bwana Yesu apee sifa. We are not knowing him by guessing. Ako hivi ako vile hapana. He has given us his word. He has displayed himself to us through his word. Ndipo sasa Paulo anasema ya kwamba I determined not to know. No. It's very important. Bwana Yesu apee sifa. Knowing, growing in the knowledge of the word of God. Paul anaombea kanisa ya Wakolosai in the book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. Anasema ya kwamba I pray mimi nawaombea that you grow in all in understanding of the will of God in all spiritual wisdom and knowledge. Is knowledge. Anaombea ninaomba muweze kuelewa kiuhakika maarifa. The knowledge of God. I want you to know God. The knowledge precise my God. I'm trying not to go into Greek but precise knowledge of God. Because a lot of us say we know God but we don't know him. You know God through his word. Utaelewa Mungu kutokana na neno lake. You know God only through his word. Peter alisema hivi. Alisema grace and peace be multiplied. Kwani kama binadamu tunatafuta nini? Si ni amani. Amani na neema zaidi. Alisema grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of God and of his son Jesus Christ. Amen. Alisema in the book of John chapter 3 chapter 17 verse 3, Yesu akiwaambia kanisa, akasema ya kwamba may they know you and the one that you have sent because that is eternal life. Please, I am leaving that concept. I know bishop amesema ya kwamba nitazidi kuhubiri lunch hour, but that No is very important. You have to know your Lord. Ni lazima umjue huyo Yesu wako. You have to know him. And not just know him on a level, on a shallow basis. Lazima umuelewe. He's calling you to know him in a deeper level. He's calling you to know him in a deeper way. Anakuita ukuje kumjua katika njia ambayo ni andani sana. Na Peter anatuambia aje that as you grow in the knowledge of his son Jesus Christ 
Unapozidi katika maarifa ya kumjua huyu Yesu, what happens? Grace and peace is multiplied to you. Praise the name of Jesus. That is our call. To know him. To know him. To know him intimately. Sio kijuju. Let me tell you something. One hour in his presence is able to sort you out as compared to a thousand years. Hivyo ndivyo David alisema, alisema afadhali siku moja in your very court, in your very presence than a thousand years away. Alikuwa anaelewa. He knew. And this is a man who rose to be a king. Huyu ni mtu ambaye ali inuka kama mfalme. There is something these people knew. Hallelujah. And it is the knowledge of God and of his son Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to pray. So sitazidi kutoka hapo, but I want us to get into prayer. If you can just be upstanding wherever you are. Nataka tuweze kuomba. Na hii ni it's, it's an intimate prayer between you and God right now. I just want you to tell him, I want to know you more. Sioni kama nakujua baba. Nataka kukujua zaidi. I want to grow. Yes. I want to grow deeper in the knowledge of who you are. I want to grow in your intimacy.
It was you he had use for. It was you. It was for you that Jesus died on the cross. Yes. The Bible says you are the bride of Christ. Mm. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the Lord is calling us to a place of intimacy. Yes, Lord. Mara mingi tunapati, tunajipati ya kwamba tunaondolewa. Mm. Kutoka hapo pahali ambapo anasema Jesus. come to me all you who labor and are heavy laden Hallelujah. and I will give you rest. Jesus. Tumebeba mizigo za maisha, Jesus. mizigo za mambo mingi but Jesus is saying ah uh-uh, come to me are you burnt out? Yaani umechoka, mm. umebeba kabisa. Mm. Are you burnt out? Anasema come to me come. Come to me and I will give you rest. Anasema kwamba I'll teach you how to take a real rest. Yaani nitakufunza kuchukua pumziko ya ukweli. Jesus. Anasema ya kwamba yes in life you may go through trials lakini jipe moyo mm. kama Yesu yeye ameshinda ulimwengu. I have overcome Jesus. the world. Hallelujah. And so our call today to tunaporudi job. Jesus. The Lord is rekindling that fire. Hallelujah. That love for him. Thank you Lord. Hiyo upendo wa Mungu. Thank you Jesus. My God is calling Hallelujah. us to a place of intimacy. Glory to God. A place of you and him. Thank you Jesus. Your greatest impact. Mm is what comes forth from that place yes. of intimacy yani making you know making a difference mm. doing that which he called you to do Hallelujah. inatokana kutoka pahala pa kumjua Jesus. it comes from a place of intimacy mm. the impact you make even in your job Jesus. as you raise your children mm. it comes from that place Jesus. of knowing him Hallelujah. kumjua kumfahamu mm. kumuelewa Hallelujah. It comes from that place Paul anasema ya kwamba in all these things we are more than conquerors. Yaani katika hii mambo yote sisi ni zaidi wa washindi. Kwa yule ambaye alitupenda we are more than conquerors Amen. through him who has loved us. Anasema ya kwamba I am convinced nothing can separate me from the love Thank of God. Jesus. That is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hiyo ndio maneno ambayo Mungu anakunenea leo. Thank you Lord. He's calling you to a place of intimacy. Thank you Jesus. Usione kama umepoteza wakati wako kuwa hapa this is the best place you could have been. Thank you Lord. Because you are right in his presence. Thank you Jesus. And Father we thank you. Yes, Lord. We thank you for your love. Jesus. We thank you for your goodness. We Jesus. thank you for your word. Yes. We thank you for your admonition that you are calling us to a place of of of, of intimacy with you. Jesus. That Lord you are our first love. Jesus. Na baba ninaomba ya kwamba hilo neno ambalo limeingia katika mioyo ya watu wako may it be a good fruit oh god Jesus. may it be a harvest in their lives my god stir up within our spirits the desire to live for you the desire to love you even more Jesus. the desire to talk about you the desire oh god Jesus. to live for you to give all all selves to you mighty Jesus. god i thank you father because i know Lord, that everywhere you go you did good mm. that where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty Jesus. right now because the spirit of the lord is here i thank you father because you're setting your people free oh god thank you lord you're setting them free from despair jesus those ones who are in disappointment you are lifting the disappointment oh god Hallelujah. in the name of jesus any in confusion or depression mm. spirit of jesus you are lifting the depression yes you are healing their very souls jesus in the name of jesus we thank you father because you remain faithful Hallelujah. we thank you father because because you remain good. Jesus. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Prayed. Amen. Amen. And for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us appreciate God for that. Come on, let us appreciate God powerfully. Sir, sir, come sir, come up. Can you please this up our head toward the Pastor Susan, Susan, that was good. May the Lord bless you and be hard for Jesus. Amen. I think so. Thank you very much, Susan. That was a very powerful word. We, all of us here, we really, our first call is that intimacy with God. That's our first call. 
before you go to the, before you go to the people that our first call that you have that intimacy with God you have that relationship with God and as you continue to know that we are going to continue to make sure that that relationship with God will continue to flow in our life as Christian in Jesus name and then after that is then now we can go down to the people just the way she has come with a very big team who shall bring the work of evangelism that area of uh, Marang High School that area they are finishing at, at around three and we thank God because they have a plan for, for the kingdom. They have a plan for the Lord's souls. And that's why they are here for one week. So tomorrow, invite your friend. Come with your friend tomorrow in lunch hour. And then we continue eating the Lord up to Friday in Jesus' name. Can we please appreciate God for that? Come on, let's appreciate God for that. Can we pray for offering? If you have. If you have, if you don't have, don't mind. You come with your offering tomorrow. Precious and loving Father, we thank you for speaking to us using your servants, Evangelist Susan, that God we need to continue having that intimacy, that relationship we continue. They even to know you more deeper. That we can know you more deeper through your word. Thank you, God, for all these men and women who came to this place because they want to know you more deeper through your word. Father Lord, I pray that God continue to put that hunger and thirst to our life. That God, we can continue having uh, thirst and hungry for you. That God can be able to continue enjoying more relationship with God. Thank you for giving this afternoon. As we go back to our commitment, our business, we declare that our life will never ever be the same again. As we continue seeking you, seeking the kingdom of God, and we are going to enjoy your provision. This prayer we pray believing and trusting in Jesus' name, our Lord. Amen. I declare you are blessed. I declare you are lifted. I declare you are going more deeper to know the God through his word. In Jesus' name. And the grace, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore.